Hi, my name is Cindy Jensen and I'm one of the academic advisors who works with the Rambler Success Program. I'm here to present to you more information about the program and hopefully to answer some of the questions that you might have. Um, I wanted to make sure that I showed my face here in the beginning, but I'm going to go ahead and um, take the video part away so that I don't accidentally cover any of the screen. So give me one second for me to do that and then we will continue on. So let's start off by asking the question, why are you here? Um, Loyola is steeped in the Jesuit values, including that of reflection. So to think about past experiences and current experiences, um, really in order for you to learn from them um, for, and for to help shape um, some of the actions and thoughts of the future. So as you're listening to me right now, I want you to take a second to think about your why. So why are you here? Why are you here watching this presentation? Why are you considering Loyola? And why are you eager to become a Rambler through joining the Rambler Success Program? Hopefully the presentation is going to give you a little bit more clarity that will help you answer your why. Um, and hopefully the presentation also is going to provide you with information about the program and also help you see why it is that you belong here at Loyola and how RSP is going to be there to support you through this chapter in your life's journey. So let's start off by um, introducing you to the Rambler Success staff. So we have here Katrina Weiser, who's the Associate Director of FSYA, because the Rambler Success Program is housed under the Office of First and Second Year Advising, which um, all first and second year students are advised through. Um, so Katrina is not only Associate Director of FSYA, but she's also the Director of RSP. And this is me, Cindy Chen Sennett, one of the senior academic advisors with um, FSYA, and Martin Finney and Risa Velen are two other advisors. So why are we here? Um, we're here to talk about two things. One, who the Rambler Success students are, and two, to also talk about the Rambler Success Program, and again, to hopefully answer some of those questions that you might have had as you learned about your acceptance through the program. So in thinking about reflection, um, I want you to think about who it is um, that you think goes to Loyola? Who is that quintessential, typical student that you see? And what are the characteristics of that Loyola student? What are their values? What were they like in high school? Um, maybe thinking about why they even chose to go to college and why they chose Loyola. And as you're thinking about this person and some of those characteristics and traits that go through your mind, I want you to think about where you see yourself falling in this description. So when we're talking about who the Rambler Success student is, um, we see RSP students as students who show great promise. Students who, while they might not necessarily have had the highest test scores or the highest GPA, um, admissions saw something in them that made them think that these students embodied what it meant to be a Rambler. And they saw that these are students that needed to be here on campus. Um, Rambler success students are students who are thirsty to learn, who demonstrate grit, leadership, discipline, and who want to make a difference in the world. They recognize that it's the education of the whole person that will make the greatest impact. So RSP is a program that's designed to help support these students as they work towards achieving their goals, academic or otherwise. Um, we see our students as leaders in the community and around campus. And in fact, many of the student leaders who you may have already met around campus, if you came for a tour or students who you will meet in the upcoming months, they've all gone through, um, a lot of them have gone through the Rambler Success Program. So thinking back to the previous slide in question of who do you think goes to Loyola, I hope you see a similarity in characteristics that define who you are. Because Rambler success students are really, to put it simply, they are Ramblers. We just want to make sure that these are Ramblers who get um, more academic support um, in order to help have a, a smoother transition for a more successful time. 
So the Rambler Success student is a student who will be open to constructive feedback and are willing to use it. Um, they're committed to improving their academic skills, whatever it might take, and they're willing to engage in a community of scholarship and support, whether it's from their peers um, or from faculty or staff members. And as you can see, littered through all of those different things that a Rambler Success student is willing to do, they're also willing to do the work. Because in reality, being in college means you're going to do more work. This is your job, um, and it's something that we're going to help you be really good at. When we think of RSP students, we also think about hashtag goals. Um, one of the advisors in the past came up with these tenants for the students. Um, and when we think about students, we the RSP students, we think about graduation, we think about ownership, academic achievement, leadership, and service, and how those things um, can change on a year-to-year -year basis. But um, no matter how they change, our RSP students have their eyes on a prize, and they're, they're keeping their hashtag goals in mind. Um, so they're thinking about um, that end goal of graduation, graduating with honors if they can, and they're thinking um, about owning their awesome and owning who they are on campus and owning how they're going to grow into who they're going to, um, who they want to become, who they will become. Um, also thinking about academic achievement and again utilizing all of those resources in order to in order to achieve that success um, and to find leadership opportunities on campus whether it's their first year or not until their fourth year or something they work towards we really want to see um, students learning to to embrace their leadership voice and see the different ways that they can have themselves and their presence heard and be known on campus. And also to be um, thinking about service and how um, we can be of service of others and to be serving alongside others. So those are the things that we think about when we think about who the Rambler Success student is. So now I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the program itself. So one of the things to know about the program is that it is a full year academic um, program um, and there is also um, opportunity for students to be able to connect socially with the community um, and to be able to work with peer mentors in order to help with that social transition. Um, on the academic side of things, students are going to be pre-registered before you even come for orientation. You'll be pre-registered for some, if not all, of your classes. Um, and we have you on three different tracks depending on your major. Um, and, and that major is what you would have indicated in um, some communications that we're going to send down the road. So either students who are on a business track, whether they know which major they want or not within business, um, if they are STEM pre-health track, or if they are not STEM and not business. So each track consists of courses that are required for graduation, um, whether it's going to be something towards the major specifically or one of the Loyola core classes that will help with graduation. And then in addition, um, the students will be enrolled in unit courses that will help facilitate that smoother transition into college. Oftentimes we think of um, a student's first year in college as their 13th year of high school um, because there is that transition period of like having the autonomy and the responsibility and the quote adulting unquote um, that happens when you come to college. So those are things that the UNIF classes help um, students work through. Um, at least one course in the track has something called supplemental instruction associated with it and I'll get um, more into that in our next slide. And then um, again depending on what the um, placement tests look like and what the student's academic track is, they'll have opportunity to enroll in more courses, potentially. So as you can see here, we have um, the sample tracks for a STEM or pre-health student, a business student, or a student who doesn't have um, a major in either of these. So common things you can see is that everyone will be taking a writing course and everyone will be taking the Unif 101 and the Unif 114. Um, writing and math will be based on placement. So when you start getting the communications about taking your math placement test or taking the writing placement, um, if that does um, 
if you do fall under that category, then you'll want to make sure to take those tests as soon as possible so that we know which course to enroll you in. Um, and then the classes that have asterisks, these are the courses that have supplemental instruction connected to them. Um, and this is really where students are able to have literally supplemental um, tutoring of sorts um, that goes along with that class. So there's an upperclassman who actually sits on each of the lectures and is able to afterwards um, set up like a, a study session with students where they would be able to go not only ask some questions but be able to really work with their peers to figuring out the information um, in order for them to learn how to learn the material in a different way and to be able to approach it from a different perspective so that they're not necessarily dependent on someone else to always tell them the answer or how to find the answer but rather someone is helping show them how they can approach studying this material so that they can um, slowly learn to, um, to grasp it a little bit better. So the expectation is that students will be attending um, supplemental instruction at least once a week for the first eight weeks of the semester. And then depending on how they're doing in their course, they can um, choose to continue going to it or perhaps they don't need it anymore. But we really wanna see students tapping into this resource right from the beginning. And really, in all honesty, that that's the way with any of the resources that we are wanting students to utilize. Um, I'll come back to this slide. Um, because as you see the 360 degrees of support that we have here, these are all points um, and people who are here to support the students. So you have the academic advisor who's the primary point of support. You have the faculty who are working with the RSP program. Um, and these are faculty members who are really passionate about students and about helping students and helping students achieve success. And so they work with us advisors very closely. We meet on a monthly basis. We know um, when we need to be checking in with students and to see how they're doing in, you know, across the board in all of their classes because we often see patterns so if a student's not necessarily doing well in one class they might need um, assistance in other classes as well so being able to have these conversations with faculty is um, a really it's a key component in addition we have peer student peer advisors who are in the unit 101 class um, we have peer mentors who help with social support we've got those academic success coaches who help in unit 114 focusing on um, hard executive skills things like time management note taking and test taking because we've seen a lot of students who think you know what worked for them in high school is going to be something that can work for them in college as well and when they get that harsh reality that it's not necessarily working for them it's really great to have the success coaches be able to help them tweak the strategies that they have so that they can find success um, in their college classes and then to round that out we've got that supplemental instruction so um, this is course specific academic assistance that comes on the peer level so going back to um, the academic tracks, so these will be what students take in the fall. And then in the spring, they are also taking some classes. So um, we have, if a student needs to progress with their math, they're gonna progress with their math or with their biology. Otherwise, it's gonna be more classes that help them with the Loyola core or um, help them with major classes that they're taking. And as we round out the spring semester, um, students in RSP will be presenting a portfolio. And the successfully completed portfolio will include um, addressing the individualized learning plans that they will work out with their advisors um, and any agreements that might be in there. Um, successful completion of classes, including um, whatever core writing, major, or unit classes the students might be taking. Um, also, um, expect participation in the different strategy sessions or supplemental instruction, advising, um, those types of things that we want students to be participating in, um, to have that satisfactory cumulative GPA and an absence of the conduct record. So that is the academic year. Um, with the Rambler Success Program, but it all begins with a spark. 
and Spark is what we call the four-day summer transition program um, that all Rambler Success students must participate in. This is not something that is optional for students. Um, and it begins on Sunday, August 16 this year and ends on the afternoon of August 20th. Um, so for students who are living on campus, they're going to be able to move in to their res halls earlier and those who are commuting will be able to commute each day. But there is an expectation that students will be there um, Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5, um, and there's optional programming. Um, like, um, sorry, optional um, community um, programming, social programming that happens afterwards. And this is a sample schedule that we have, um, but really what we do is we tweak it every year. We take into consideration um, some of the feedback that we get from students in previous years and try to make sure that um, the transition program is as helpful as possible um, and able to um, help students hit the ground running as much as possible because um, it's filled with workshops where students are learning more about what it's like to be a college student, also getting connected to a lot of the various campus partners and departments around campus um, in order to be able to know who to go to if they're struggling with this or if they're struggling with that. And beyond the first year, we really want to connect with students across all four years. So we have um, we're working on a mentoring program where upperclassmen will be um, having kind of like a family of RSP students who they work with and mentor throughout the different years and the different needs that they have and how hashtag goals might be manifesting itself on any given year. And then also a newsletter to keep students in the know. Um, we also have your specific programs and workshops and try to have various events, whether it's a finals event at the end of the first semester or an end of year event at the end of the year. So to go back to the question of why are you here, it's because we want you to join our hashtag RSP squad. Um, we're really excited to have you all um, joining us here at Loyola and we really hope that your experience with the Rambler Success Program is going to be as amazing as we want it to be. And while we don't have time right now for a Q&A, if you do have any questions, feel free to email us at ramblersuccess at luc.edu. And you can also visit our website, um, luc.edu slash rsp um, in order to get more information. Good luck and stay healthy. We hope to see you soon.